Hello students, welcome back to the fourth video of this playlist. So in this video, uh, we will be solving question number four from the most recent Pure Mathematics 1 paper, which is October 2024 P1 paper. So let's see uh, what's the question number four from this most recent P1 paper is about. So if I give a brief explanation of the background of this question, basically it's com the concepts behind this question, it's combinedly from uh, quadratics, uh, equations, and also graphs and transformations. So in order to be able to solve this question, uh, definitely you should have idea about the concepts that's, that has been discussed in chapter two, which is quadratics, chapter three, uh, which is uh, equations and inequalities and also graphs and transformations which is chapter number four of your pure mathematics one textbook so let's get started with the fourth question of this paper so right at the beginning you can see in the question number four that there is a figure there are two curves c1 a quadratic curve and c2 which is a cubic curve is sketched a sketch is given so okay figure one shows a sketch of curve c and c1 and c2 that's fine we can see on the screen given that c1 c1 has equation y equals to f of x where f of x is a quadrating function quadratic function cuts the x axis at the origin and x at and at x equals 4 has a minimum turning point at x coordinate 2 and y coordinate of the minimum turning point of f of x is negative 4.8 fine so part a is asking to find f of x okay so curve is given the curve the sketch of curve c1 is given and some data about this uh function quadratic function f of x is given so from that data and the yeah, from that data we need to figure out the equation of the function f of x so you can see that the turning point the coordinates of the turning point is given as 2 negative 4.8 and we know that for quadratic function uh, we can figure out the equation of the quadrating fun quad uh, we can figure out the coordinates of the turning point from its completing the square form of the quadratic function right so if we represent a function in this form uh, if if the quadratic function is in this form a times x plus p whole squared plus q then the negative of this p will be the x coordinate of the turning point and the y coordinate of the turning point would be the constant that is outside the square that is q the outside the bracket this is what q so this is what negative p and q is given the coordinates of the minimum turning point so we will use this concept okay so what we can write f of x so for part a we can write f of x equals to a times x what what's the x coordinate of the minimum turning point which is 2 that means the negative of 2 will be within the bracket x minus 2 whole squared and the y coordinate is negative 4.8 so it will be plugged in as it is okay so f of x equals to a times what x minus 2 whole squared negative 4.8 so we just need to find out the value of a so to find out the value of a we need a, 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 the coordinates of a point that lies on f of x which is what it cuts the x axis at the origin at x equals to 4 that means 4 0 right 4 0 is the point which lies on the curve of f of x so 4 0 if you consider 4 0 what you will get uh, if you consider 4 0 in f of x you will get a times the x coordinate is 4 so 4 minus 2 whole squared 
negative 4.8 this is equals to what 0 so what you will get 4 minus 2 is what 2 2 square is what 4 4 a equals to 4.8 so the value for a would be what 4.8 over 4 that would give you 6 6 over 5 which is 1.2 which is 6 over 5 so f of x is what 6 over 5 times x minus 2 whole squared negative 4.8 that's the equation for the function what f of x and that's what part a of question number 4 has asked for next is part b so before part b they are saying given that c2 has equation y equals to g of x where g of x is a cubic function cuts the x axis at the origin okay meets the x axis at x equals to what four and then passes through the point six seven point two okay so these are the details given about the curve c2 so part b is asking to find the equation for g of x function okay so let's have a look on the sketch of curve c2 that is g of x so we can see that this curve c2 it's passing through the origin as per it is mentioned in the question and it is also pass it is not passing through x equals to 4 basically it is just touching the x axis at x equals to 4 that means uh, we know from the concepts of graphs and transformation chapter from the graph we know from the concepts of graphs and transformation chapter that a curve basically just bounces off from the x axis and it meets the x axis and, and bounces off there when at that point it has repeated roots that means at x equals to 4 this curve c2 has repeated roots right so for repeated roots since uh, the roots of g of x are known to us okay so we can write g of x like this what the first one is what the first root is x equals to 0 let me write the roots on the side x equals to 0 and the and another one is x equals to 4 so to have x equals to 0 root there will be what x okay times what then x minus 4 but since it's repeated root so x minus 4 whole squared fine but still we have missed something there which is the coefficient of the cubic term which is x cube coefficient of x cube this coefficient we need to add separately because when in factorization this constant basically gets cancelled gets disappeared okay like when we write a x times x minus 4 basically this is constant so this constant if you take it to the right side it becomes a zero so x minus 4 equals to zero and that's why we need to write this constant what separately and multiply it with the x okay so now we need to find out the value for that a using the coordinates of a point that lies in this curve c2 which is given which which coordinate is given there uh, 6 and 7.2 6 7.2 so 6 7.2 we will put plug in these values in the g of x function so you will get 6a times 6 minus 4 whole squared which is 4 equals to 7.2 so the value for a would be 7.2 over what 24 so that would give you 3 over 10 3 over what 10 so g of x can be written as 3 over 10 x times x minus 4 whole squared that's it and that's the equation for the function g of x and that's what part b of question number 4 has asked for okay next is part c so in part c 
they are saying the curves C1 and C2 meet in the first quadrant at the point P shown in figure 1. Okay, let's have a look on the sketch on the figure. This is point P where it is in where it is intersecting the the intersect point P is basically the point of intersection of the two curves C1 and C2. So part C is asking to use algebra to find the coordinates of P. So we need to find out the coordinates of point P. So since point P is the point of intersection of the two curves, so at point P, at point P, f of x would be equal to what? g of x because their y values will be equal there. The y values for f of x at this point will be equal to the y value for g of x at that point because this point is a common point which lies on both of the curves. So now just equate f of x is what? f of the equation for f of x that we have derived earlier 6 over 5 x minus 2 whole squared 6 over 5 x minus 2 whole squared let, let's, let's expand it x squared minus x minus 2 whole squared x squared minus 2 a b plus b squared negative what negative 4.8 so 4.8 is basically 24 over 5 24 over 5 equals what this is equal to 3 over 10 x times x minus 4 whole squared is x squared negative 8x plus what 16 now expand the bracket so if you expand the bracket let's start from the left side so you will get 6 okay we can multiply both sides by 10 okay so that all the fraction all the fractions gets eliminated so if you multiply both sides by 10 you will get 6 over 5 times 10 is what? 6 times 2, which is 12. So 12x squared negative 4 times 12 is 48x plus 48. That would be what? Negative 24 over 5 times 10, which is 24 times 2, which is negative 48, equals to 3x cubed negative 24x squared. Just multiplying the brackets and then uh plus 3 times 16 that would give you 48x yeah 48x is there okay fine so 12x squared there so take it to the right side so you'll get 3x cubed take all the terms to the right side negative 24x squared yeah it's alone so 24x squared and then uh, negative 48x if you take it to the right you will get plus 48 plus 48 that would give you 96 x 48 plus so plus 48 minus 48 cancels out so no constants this is equals to what zero okay so from there you can take what three common uh three x common three x if you take three x common you will get uh, x squared negative eight x plus 32 equals to what zero now what we got we will what we get here uh, either what x equals to zero or what x squared negative 8x plus 32 x squared negative 8x plus 32 equals to zero so this equation if we solve it the equation f of x equals to g of x if we solve this equation then we will get the x coordinates x coordinate where the two curves c1 c1 and c2 are intersecting each other okay so what's the middle factor is it possible to middle term it uh, 32 4 times 8 no it's not possible so let's use the quadratic formula so minus b plus minus square root of what b squared minus 4 ac which is 64 minus 4 times 32 so 64 minus 4 times 32 that would give you negative 64 okay so okay we got only one possible value for x is it true 
there should be three points of intersection we can see on the screen on the figure one two three okay that means we have some problems in it uh, b squared is 64 okay yeah there is some problem let's have a look on it uh, if you take Twenty four x okay 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 there is the mistake look this is negative twenty four x squared and this is twelve x squared so if you take it to the right side negative twenty four negative twelve it is negative not twenty four it is negative thirty six x squared okay so we will have there not eight it will be what if you take three x common it will get twelve x twelve x now it is possible to middle term it isn't it yeah it's now possible to middle term it without any issues okay negative 12 x so this middle term would be x minus 8 times x minus 4 that would be equal to 0 now we are getting exactly three points three x coordinates right x equals to 8 or x equals to what 4 so the question is asking for what coordinates or only the x coordinates okay we need to find out the coordinates of point p okay so here x equals to what zero here x equals to what four so at point p it will be the third one the remaining one that means at p x equals to what eight therefore y value would be what just put the x that is x equals to eight into any of the equation of the functions let's put it there no problem so 6 over 5 6 over 5 times what 6 over 5 times 4 minus 2 whole squared this is what sorry not 4 minus 2 this is 8 minus 2 8 minus 2 whole squared negative 4.8 right negative 4.8 is it negative 4.8 exactly so the y value of point P would be what 6 8 minus 2 is 6 36 times 6 over 5 minus 4.8 it is 192 over 5 so point P is 8 192 over 5 and that's the coordinates of point P and that's what exactly Part C of question number four has asked for.